Hello everybody, welcome back, it is us again, another episode of Random Encounter, I've lost count of the number and I'm not even going to try, because I am tired and frazzled, uh, I, just, uh, I have been peopling today, I have actually had to deal with real people, and this is apparently very difficult, I'm, I'm amazed at how difficult this has been. I am exhausted. I am tired. Um, but we're, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still compass mentis enough to get on with the game. Um, but yeah, people in. It's been a while. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to people. I've forgotten how to people. How, how to people people. <laughs> people people. I, I, I can sympathise having gone from remote working call centre work to being in an office with at least three people constantly. Mm. That, yeah, I, well, as you have seen, um, that it is something that is very stressful on people. So I, I sympathise <laughs> heavily. And you can all laugh at me tomorrow when I've done my 14-hour round trip to the office and back. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. I will be in a similar state, but I will just be crawling to bed and having done with the day. <laughs> I I I certainly don't mind um, people in the office. They are nice people. Um, mm. But having gone from effectively speaking to the one or two people I speak to uh, roughly during my working day to having uh, near 20 of us um, to all be there at the same time in the office today has been a challenge and an exhausting one at that um so yeah it's goodness knows goodness knows but we are here we are recording um i will uh, uh be brought up i'm sure by this lot if i fall asleep or do anything ridiculous during the episode um Although, you know, it depends on Nothing whether or not... Nothing new about that. Uh, just you okay, war. Just we'll just ask if your camera's, um, you know, frozen because you've, you've ended up resting this position. If you've got feedback on that, <laughs> you know, snoring. Yes, all right, fair enough. Um, <laughs> which, as a note, please note, if my camera does pause randomly during the game, please let me know because it's done that twice now <laughs> or during setup. So... Uh, <laughs> It won't be me falling asleep on that occasion, maybe. Sure. Um, <laughs> in either case, let's uh, let's have a quick sort of recap of what's going on because um, this is not a time for you guys to be sleeping. Certainly, definitely not when there is a giant red eye staring from a wall at you. Um, we've had a little bit of an excursion. Oh, it went that way. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a bit of an excursion down into the third level of the abomination vaults we've uh, uh on, on the basis here by the way that the ground level is one because everything works down from there and numbers are weird when you do that in my opinion but in either case so we uh we're in the third level this third area that they've come into and with a demon behind them that they've casually kind of just closed the door on and said, we won't be back until we've got your contract, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, they, that? They, <laughs> they headed south uh, and found another one of the Atari kind of ghost rooms, um, which um, scrawled some writing on the wall. If you don't, um, if you didn't watch the uh, previous episode, uh, why not? And go and do it because I'm not repeating everything that it said. Um, no, and... <laughs> Uh, and then followed that light for a little bit because it went wandering off like the first one had done decided that the best idea that they could do is potentially not to run across the 20 foot long corridor with the four creatures in it um, and came back here instead um, on deciding then to search the next door and open it up Nephi discovered very quickly a couple of things about the room that opened up on the other side number one there were two secret doors one in the northern wall and one in the, so in the southern wall and there was a peephole cut in the western wall but with their rather good skills of perception their rather high perception skill they also spotted that there was something wrong about this chamber and within a few seconds they got an overwhelming feeling of being watched and then an eerie red eye opened 
on the Western Wall. Um, I will uh, switch for everybody's benefit to the to the map. Everything is unpaused. We shall uh, we shall put a little bit of the old uh, Sirenscape esque music on that hopefully people will start being able to hear. And we shall return to this chamber. You can see here um, that... Uh, hold on. Okay, a brief pause there that we did uh, just to sort out some audio fun and games. But uh, as you can all see here... Now that you've got the map, you can see this chamber. Uh, it's got a kind of dilapidated looking couch um, at the back corner. Um, and as I said, against uh, this wall just here is a red eye. Matt, you've frozen. Oh, so I have. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> micro nap. I did not micro nap. I paused that. <laughs> Although that conversation did not happen. Um, I mean, you're still paused for bless me. Thing. No, I'm definitely moving. I can see on my thing I am definitely moving. Um, okay, <laughs> so... Oh, goodness knows. Discord. Uh, this is one of the myriad reasons why we want better technology. Um, so, um, as I was saying, um, do you have a red eye on that western wall staring down at you it does not appear to be doing anything it's just that you've noticed it's almost like you noticed that there was a presence there and it opened up and you could see exactly what was hiding in that space uh just simply because your you, your perception was good enough to just notice that little um problem that was in the room. It doesn't seem to have done anything, though. What do I know about undead and haunts and weird, spooky stuff that might be relevant here? Well, initially, um, you are probably one of the best people to sort of... Uh, get an, a look at this thing you do have the haunt law the downside is at the moment you haven't seen it um nephi is the only person that knows it's there wait i'm poking oh, moz going moz, moz. Well, <laughs> oh, hang, on, what, light. Well, hang on what, what, hang on no sorry involves pushing past hang on let me get out of the way <laughs> yeah so at the moment what's going on Inver kind of tries to push past you, Nephi. Um, <laughs> you can move out of the way if you choose. <laughs> I'm the way. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, well, so you kind of turn the corner and, 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 and look at this thing, and within um, it, it, like the briefest of moments, you go, yeah, that's a haunt. That's definitely, definitely a haunt. Um, you can feel all the spiritual stuff coming off of it. You, you've got a very clear, clear sort of awareness of, of the details of it. You're relatively certain that um, because of the way it kind of seems to be looking around, but its perception is always within the bounds of the of the chamber. It's not, mm -hmm. it never really looks out the door. It's always looking for something in the room. This eye kind of constantly is, is staring around. And just through the, 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 the effect of the haunt where the eye is, you can see that peephole. And you kind of vaguely put two and two together and you realize that the haunt must have been caused by something that happened on the other side of that peephole. By the looks of things, it's happened. It was caused by, or it's been created by perhaps the last person that was using it. Maybe something along those lines. With that, you get a feeling. If it was somebody spying on the room, maybe you could deceive this haunt. Maybe you could bypass it by making yourself uninteresting. So if you went into the room and didn't want to be caught by whatever this haunt might be able to do, because you know that all haunts can do something, 
perhaps you could try and pretend to not be of note. The other thing that you always know is, you know, relatively certain of is some haunts like this, especially seeing as they might be undead in nature, you can probably use religion to ward yourself against it. To, so it would notice you, but you possibly wouldn't get harmed by it. Um, the major thing for you, though, is in order to do that, you're going to have to be trained in one of those two skills. You can't just do this blindly and hope that it works. I am trained in both of them. Intimidation is better. Not intimidation, deception. Deception oh, or religion. Deception. Um, Deception is the same as intimidation, and it's still back in religion. <laughs> so, if you wanted to go into the room, I would allow you to roll no. a deception check. Do I know anything about um, dismantling haunts? Um, it depends on the haunt, and in effect, you don't think this one can be destroyed. It's all about bypassing it. Um, however, you think that if one person can do one of the skills and successfully, it might sort of reset itself, like it gets, it would get bored of the chamber. Oh, we'll go somewhere else. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to relay back to the party that, yep, it's a haunt. Um, I can, I have a good chance of being able to. Uh, sneak in and have a look through the peephole and see what's on the other side of it. But I have to do it in a way that suggests I'm entirely uninteresting and not at all going to do what I've just said I'm going to do. Um, we can't get rid of it, I don't think. That's kind of beyond certainly my skills at the moment. And I don't fancy finding out what happens if you trip it. I don't have to. Does anybody mind if I go and try and have a look through the peephole? If it all goes wrong, how do we get you out? Interesting question. Depends what it does. What kind of things can this, these holds do? Not really my area of expertise. They, they quite often take control of your mind. You will see things that aren't there. You might be... I ain't that might knocked out part of what happened. In knocking me unconscious should help. Good to know. And and Moz almost enthusiastically gets his sap out of his um violence today. Oh and let's be brutally honest. Um on the floor so far, how often have I not chosen violence? Bah. Sometimes it's well dressed violence, sometimes it's delayed violence. Mostly it's just violence. Yeah. All right. Okay. Again. Make a deception check, please. 14 plus 8, 22. You slowly, casually, uh, without sort of trying to really raise too much attention, step into the room, the eye kind of looks around it kind of vaguely catches that you're there but after a very brief second it just looks away starts looking around the room again okay so you step up to where the 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 eyepiece is to be fair on that one yeah i think i can still reach the um yeah so you step up you kind of look at the eyepiece the eye is right over the top of it, so you are kind of <laughs> vaguely <laughs> kind of... But after a little bit of time, the eye just closes and disappears. Having not seen anything that it really cares about. What do I see through the people? To be fair, not a right lot. I know you've got your dark vision and everything else, and, and, and you, you kind of got that benefit but as you look into the eyepiece and look through um you're met five foot behind there is a gap but five foot there is a wall as well so as you're looking through this peephole 
there's just a wall in front of you and you really you can tell that it opens up maybe a bit to either side um but you cannot see be really a lot of detail there's there's nothing really there secret passage, secret passage. <laughs> okay. so there it is, are it is not a there. secret tunnel um <laughs> Uh, so okay, yes, I'm there gonna... are there are two oh, secret doors that Nephi spotted to the north and south. Am I content that the haunt has gone away and I can call people in? Certainly, at least for now. Your knowledge of haunts would state the fact that it's disappeared probably means it's gone dormant at least for a little bit of time. Yeah. Okay, guys, all clear. Okay, choose a door. North or south? Your choice. Your room, your choice. Oh. House? Okay. You slide this panel to, to one side. Um, sort of push it push it away. Uh, the fake wall disappearing as you slide open the, uh, the section. And you find a passageway. Um, it's... A five foot wide corridor of some description with not really a huge amount to sort of say about it uh, plain angled hall which appears to have a number of alcoves um, and that's all you can see from there Oops. I, I will step gently through okay you step gently through and you notice that yep there are a number of alcoves in this space the thing that catches your attention though is what the second alcove so the one to the uh, west where you where you're stood right now um there are a number of carvings in the wall uh and in this one these are silver lined so something very similar to the chamber that you saw one floor up that was a much larger chamber with lots of carvings of runes and various bits and pieces in the wall oh. all of it inlaid that with knackered, silver that knackered teleport chamber yes yeah. on this occasion it is just a small alcove much more like Wasn't what you that found like on the top floor yes indeed Ground floor. Oh, look. It is, in fact, a corridor that lets you spy into the room. Mm-hmm. Uh, ah. There is indeed a, a ah. peephole on the east. And, we'll in and then there's a chamber there. So yep. just to the west of where I am. And then northwest of me, there is another one. Mm-hmm. And presumably, this here is the other secret door. That is indeed. It is indeed. Top and bottom. So those just look like maybe they were there potentially at some point to set up more of these uh, engraved um, platforms, but never were. Uh, the, however, the one on the north west, as it were, so the, the, the north, it's the western wall, but it's, it's the northern of these alcoves. Um, that one has all the carvings, but all the silver has been removed. So the only yes. one that has any silver in it is the southern one. Tipped, removed, or never laid? Uh, stripped out. Okay. okay. So is this one still active, or does it appear like it wouldn't work? You, with a, like a put a detect magic up, you do not sense anything magical at all uh, okay. coming from these chambers. So what was so important about that chamber we've just come out of that mm -hmm. you'd be able to teleport near it and spy on it? Maybe it's not maybe it's not what it is, but what it leads to. This room and the other room over the corridor are kind of mirrored, aren't they? They're kind of like waiting rooms, aren't they, chambers? Hmm. We've not come at up towards the top end of this corridor, up towards the north, you've obviously got the cell space. I'm wondering if we're heading towards the chamber that this is an antechamber to. You spy uh, on your guests when you're looking to get information out of them. 
that they don't know, loose lips and all that. Mm. What I'm curious about is so many of these and the follow on, there's only one left, or rather, there is one left. The northernmost one, that one up, up the way. That's mm -hmm. good. That's all stripped out here. Yeah. Nephi, that one next to you still got all the silver laid in, yeah? Mm-hmm. I, I say as I'm putting silver into it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, scraping it out. out of the walls. Hair <laughs> <laughs> forms, whatever. Why strip out all but one? That's, that's an intent. That's not a thief. That's intent. They need that, or, that's needed elsewhere. This one's still intact. Or someone just spent a long time carving it out of one and then never had the opportunity to come back to carve it out of the other alcove. Maybe. So is these that, points. Is it that much silver? Each one only goes to one other place. You don't actually know. Okay. Do I disappear? No. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mold, you were closest, were you not? This is your fault today. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I am not. I am still in the antechamber. I'm just shouting from the other side of the secret door. Right. Failing. It's failing. 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 <laughs> failing backs out. <laughs> steps away. <laughs> it's everyone else like fobbing off responsibility. <laughs> nope. I'm entirely backstop today. <laughs> so, <laughs> right now, anyway. just as a general thing, beside the peephole, the four alcoves, the one inlaid with silver. You do not find, even with like a, a detailed length of time searching this this corridor, you do not find it anything else of interest. Is there anything spirity within thirty feet that we should be aware of? Um, I'm going to be honest here with this one. Uh, you do a perception check, and the the haunt is still there. It's just dormant, um, and you can't really pick up. Uh, you, you know, you know that there's also another room over the other side, which is still kind of vaguely glowing with spiritual energy. Um, well, yeah, yeah. There's there's well, not really um, there's not really anything else which is screaming well, out at you. All in that room. Okay. Moz is just trying to force the wall or the walls where the, the, the secret doors were and the other one just to see if there's something here looking for a mechanism looking to match up Can I go search for a peephole by standing on the sofa um, yeah you can spend a bit of time searching in here and you know pushing the walls um, giving a real sort of dig round you actually think that this one is set up as a proper private chamber um, and you know so you've got one which you put the people you want to spy on in and one which is actually for your proper guests that you don't really care too much about oh hello we've got two olerins on the board i'll get rid of one of them so nephi's gone darting down to the to the uh to the next door rushing yeah, off as up. per normal <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. Remind me, I don't know if I asked this last time, about what that weird spirity stuff in there is. You believe it's... You, you, you have asked this, but that's fine. Uh, it, you believe it's like an echo left behind by yeah. a s event or a person. It's not quite a haunt, but it's not a ghost either. It's something kind of in between. Um, right, so let's do a quick show of hands. Uh, people who are avoiding notice as their uh, their main activity. Uh, one Inva, and is Nephi avoiding notice, or is Nephi just going full hammer and tongs? No, I would be sneaking, but yeah. I assume if I'm going to be listening at the door, I'm going to be doing perception. So okay, um, 
the one-off perception is fine. It's more for the long-term activities. So if you're long-term oh, okay, being yeah, stealthy, uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I believe it's normally Phelan that is the scouty. Uh, no, uh, Moz is the scout, and Phelan is normally doing the searching. So, yes. uh, right. So we'll do do all of those various roles like that. Okay. Cool. Um, In front of me. Eh. Marching order is the thing. Um, okay, Nephi. Right over Nephi's shoulder because paranoia. Nephi, you sneak up to the door. Uh, you put your ear to the door and have a listen. You cannot hear anything. Uh, and the door does oh, not I appear to be locked. I have not have any problems with this, and so I open the door. Okay. Holy. You open up the door. Um, oh my! I close the door again. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, we've already mentioned oh, that this is not a thing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, the first thing, a nice and simple description of the room. This large, cross-shaped chamber contains several long couches. The leather cushions that once adorned them cracked with age. Dead plants lie slumped in planter pots along the walls, and a long dry, long dry fountain depicting a lighthouse stands in the middle of the room. In addition to that, there is a creature in there. This small... I say small. It, it, it's a medium-sized creature. Um, but it doesn't look very healthy. To be fair... Kind of looks dead. Um, there are bits of skin hanging off of it. Um, there, its jaw isn't quite really attached as well as perhaps it could be. Uh, its eyes are milky white. But one of the things is, it also doesn't look human. It looks a lot like some of the things you've had to deal with before. The creature's upstairs with the really big eyes. So, you know, it's really easy to tell it's got milky eyes because they're huge. Um, and it's kind of sort of hunched down and it's actually pick, got a book and it's it's vaguely trying to turn the pages. And it looks up at you and uh, just for the benefit of uh, players and everybody else, this is kind of what it looks like. Ooh, it's got eyes like that dwarf on Crescent Street. A hell of a tongue. <laughs> um, and it kind of <laughs> it looks up at you lot as you open the door, and it looks at Nephi and he goes, "Oh, hi, hello, visitors. <laughs> hi there. Can I close the door? <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely can now if you really want to." Hey, you, uh, your mother. Oh, oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hi, hi. Uh, come in, come in. Come on. I don't want to. Oh no, Mars, don't okay. make me do this. Nephi, you're in the way. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. To point out to Mars, you don't need to go straight to violence. <laughs> Mm hmm. I will surveil the room. Um, as described, really. Um, <laughs> you know, he's kind of sat perched on the on the edge of this fountain. He's got this book in his hand, and he's kind of looking up at you guys. Hi. Uh, uh, my my name is Orgrail. How I I haven't seen. Anybody here? Oh, such a long time. I, 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 uh, that's fair. It's been a, a few years, I think, since anyone's been down this far. Ah, uh, I, I wouldn't know to be fair. Um, I came. Uh, from below with the rest of the Ghost Queen Morlocks. <laughs> I think so anyway. Um, I got uh, bit by one of the local creatures and um, yeah, I became this. I... Use Undead Law to figure out 
what it might be. You can read. 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 Nice. Um, that emotion. So. <laughs> you, you look at this thing, your undead lore is really the only reason why you kind of know anything about this thing. Um, it's certainly unique in your opinion. You, you've you never seen anything like this. It's a Morlock, but it looks like this Morlock has become a ghoul. Um, and has obviously at some point contracted ghoul fever and died from it and been risen as, as this thing. Um... Mm -hmm. It's not uncommon. It's a bit rare, but it's not entirely uncommon that a ghoul can retain a semblance of their old mind. Most of them become kind of feral, but it's not impossible for a ghoul to be relatively intelligent and capable of thought. And looking at this one... <laughs> Yeah, everything kind of screams out that this is a a Morlock, like the ones from upstairs, but also an undead creature. Um, what are you doing here? Why did you stop? <laughs> uh, when I became like this, um, sorry, my joke keeps falling off. Um, when, when I became like this, the rest of the um, clan would not let me um, uh, keep on with them. They did not like me, and so I had a falling out with um, uh, Grolgast. Um, <laughs> he would not let me carry on up to the next level, so I stayed here, and um, uh, the creatures that turned me into what I am, well, they're quite tasty, to be fair. So, um, I just stayed here, and when I can, I get rid of them, and I eat them. Perfectly reasonable. Yeah, like seems like you. You got plenty of books to be going on with? Yes, uh, well, this is the library. There are a lot of books here. At least that's what I was told by um, the demon -y kind of guy when I tried to go up here. But he um, wanted to arrest me, so I closed the door and ran away. Yeah, we've met him. <laughs> Empty, yeah. <laughs> like a common response. Empty. <laughs> so in all your time down here, have you found uh, much that's caught your eye in these books? You must have read them through a few dozen times. I kind of know a bit of the area, but um, <laughs> my memory is mostly of this room, and uh, let me think, there are a couple of other rooms that I could tell you about if you wanted. Um, obviously, this room, and then there's a big, big chamber of books way to the northeast, um, mostly where the funny food things are um, that made me like this. Uh, there is a room there um, which they really protect quite a lot. Uh, I think they think it's important up there. Um, yeah, no, I mean, there's a couple of rooms I know a little bit about, but uh, yeah, um, not many. Uh, to be honest with you, when you open up the rooms, they're all kind of scary, so um, I don't bother with them, really. Do you tend to stay here? I, I move around a little bit. I could. I mean, I don't really know you guys that well, and um, no, you're not food, obviously. Uh, but um, I hear that. Uh, well, you know, um, uh, yeah, friends, not food. Friends, fr I, friends, not food. Um, well, okay, not entirely sure I understand that, but all right then. Um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, there are a few bits and pieces. There's a door just there. Um, I have, uh, that's where we came up. Oh, no, that's, that's not where we came. That's where all of the others went up from, I think. Um, they went up that way. Um, but uh, I stayed down here. Uh, there's also, uh, it took me a little while. I know this room quite well. There is, there is a door in the south wall, but it hides itself if you don't open it. Um, and and after kind of 
looking at where he points for a little while, you do notice that there is an outline of a door hidden away within the uh, within the southern wall um, that he's able to point out to you. Um, but, uh, I mean, there's not really a lot else uh, that I can tell you. Um, uh, you are welcome here wherever you want. It's nice to see people, I have to say. Um, But yeah, I, I have been walking around a little bit. Uh, there's, there's a few places to be on that door in the south. Um, yeah, I, it's a bit weird. I would not, not necessarily go down that way. Um, it's uh, one way. It, it opens into a big tunnel. One way goes to like um, an outside place, big town kind of thing. And I don't think I would be welcome there. So uh, I've not gone down that way. And then the other way goes to a, um, uh, a very talkative pond. Do you have any tents? beyond leaving this area you say you don't feel you'd be welcome in the town do you have any intent beyond no 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 i i will stay on this level it is safe here and well safe <laughs> there's there's things to eat here uh which is one of the reasons why i stay but to be honest with you if they were all dead i don't think it would matter i don't think i would really need to eat i don't feel hungry i just like gnawing on them And the books keep you entertained. Oh, the books are okay. I, I just this. What's the point in going anywhere else? I have this level more or less to myself if I want it. I mean, as you say, there are creatures here that will fight me, and it would help if they weren't around. But uh, I, you know, I can keep myself entertained. Oh. Aren't you going green? Yeah, I went green. I, went, I did go green. Very much went green. Okay, boom, I'm back. I committed to it. I did. I committed to a full green. Uh, anyway, we are back on oh, this one. It was a quick pause and reset my camera once again. I told you my camera was going to be the awkward thing tonight. Always, always something. <laughs> um, so, yes. Uh, this uh, Orgrail's just sort of... Yeah, he's got this book, book on his lap. Is it only those ones that are tasty, or would you, do you eat other bones and... I've not tried anything else, to be honest. Um, I, I, uh, I don't know, I kind of like the dead things. They have to be, have been dead for a while. In fact, to be honest with you, I have tried other things, and they weren't dead enough. Which is weird, because they're moving when I eat, when I uh, kill them, but... Uh, they taste different. I like things that have been dead. Okay. <laughs> we'll find any and we're passing this way. Um, we may drop some off. Okay. You... He has their preferences. Are you going already then? We thought we might. Oh, okay. There are some other issues in here that are more problematic than yourself. I try not to be problematic, I have to admit. If you always going if you always going to go around and deal with these sort of the creature thingies, I um I could come and help. Or or if you don't want my help then I could just if you could just drop one off, that would be kinda of nice of you. Tell us about this talkative pond. How do you mean is it talkative? He's very chatty. Oh. Okay. Well. It wasn't wasn't me this time. Wasn't me this time. It was somebody else. We're gonna get an intermission card like these. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Um, so yeah, you asked him what the chatty. I, he's he's like a big cave with water in it, but he's making a lot of chatty noises, or lots and lots of different voices. It's very strange. I don't go in there really, cause it was it was kind of interesting. You can sneak around and go to other places in this place, but um, yeah, for the most part, he's, there was a very chatty room, and I didn't really want to stay there. 
And the only thing beyond this southern doorway is the tunnel out towards the township. So there's a, there's a tunnel out to the town, and then there is a um, the chatty pond, and um, that's got a set of steps in it. And I, I kind of think I have not followed this, I have to admit, I have not followed this. But the water for the pond comes from, like, dropping from the ceiling, and then it disappears off down another tunnel. And I have a feeling you can go down that way, but I've never bothered, because, well, that's where I came from, and that was kind of a bit... Yeah, there's a lot of things down there that aren't worth hanging around for, I have to say. What do you mean by the chatty pond? I said that it is a big pool of water and there's a lot of whispering and funny noises. Even like chatty and lots of different voices chatting over top of one another. Okay, so it doesn't talk back. No. <laughs> no. no, it just makes lots of noise to itself. Like in my I'm tempted to see. Sorry, Mel. No, that was actually towards yourself. Uh, perhaps even towards Nephi there a little bit. Might be uh, bird folk, as it were. You remember ponds mm. on the surface. Maybe. I'm. I'm inclined to find out where the tunnel comes out, so that yeah. we know um, another way in and out. And then. Um. What was this door uh, address, or, um, Olgraf? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yangral. Angra, I know Angra. it's, Angra. I know it's Angra. difficult to tell with the draw. I'm sorry. Angral. Uh, I, you go through there and you go up a floor. That's okay. where all of the other Ghost Queen Morlocks went. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know what they did after, after that, if I am completely fair. They, they kind of stopped me going up with them. Okay. All right. Thank you. I, actually, that's a good question. If you've come from the above, I'm assuming you've not come from below. If you've come from above, did you find any more locks? Yeah. Any? Men. Oh, we okay. Did. They're still there then. All right. Well, fair enough. Well, there's a few that were around. A little bit longer. I'm going to kick Nefe at this point. What's wrong? No, 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 I'm interested. What do you mean? Or tell me what happened. Tell me what happened. Well, that's... The, they, they... There was a king. You uh, thought he was a king? Is that who... I, am uh, I right? Grogast. Grogast the king. Yeah, that one. He had like a throne. He was like, yeah, yeah, I'm the king of all Morlocks or something. He's, uh, he's the king of the ghost. I can't believe he is still in charge, for goodness sake. No, he's not. It's he's fine. not. Oh. He's, he's, he got impaled on something sharp, I think. Oh, yep. did yep. he really? Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Who did it? <laughs> Who, Who did it? <laughs> Maybe us? Might have been oh. us. It was definitely us. You guys are the best. You really are the best. Thank you ever oh. so much. That's really good. I like you. I tell you what, if you need any information about any of the rooms that's, that you come across and if you find funny things, you come back to me and I will see if I remember having looked at it before and see if I can tell you anything about it. Very kind of you. Is there an insight stroke sense motive check? Just in case this is a facade, because just doesn't trust. So in order to um, check if somebody is lying to you, you use the deception skill. And it's effectively using your knowledge of how to deceive people to see if somebody's deceiving you. Uh, or perception, depending on which you sort of uh, prefer, which one is the better one for you. Um, I, I'm more watching him than than. Yeah, make a perception check. Then. Deception, so. Yeah, make a make make a perception check then. Yeah, deception is plus zero. Whereas that's a um, eight plus seven for sixty fifteen. He doesn't seem to be lying. Every bit of body language from this guy, it really looks like he's rather happy that Grogust is dead. <laughs> Prepping for for for, a, for an action there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, if that is all you want, I I won't hold you any longer. You can go wherever you wish, and 
Yeah, as you say, you will come back any time. There's, I mean, the sofas are a little bit bad, to be honest. They're not comfy anymore. But, uh, well, at least I don't think they're comfy anymore. I kind of don't really feel anything. But when I noticed a spring was kind of through my leg, I kind of assume it's not that nice. Not really. <laughs> Strings are supposed to be inside the sofa. They're generally speaking, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not helpful. Mm -hmm. But the books are good. Um, and the whole place is a library. I, I mean, if I don't think it would matter too much. But there might be some good books in here that the people in the town might kind of want them. I don't know. It's possible. They might be of interest. Possible. Nephi, you know what my so yes. well. Or folks might be interested in town. You're you're more local than than myself and Inbar. Maybe. <laughs> Make a society <laughs> check. Oh, okay. You're our resident thief. Are these perch are they sellable? <laughs> well, well sell uh, you know what? It would help if I actually had my carrot sheet open. Um, oh dear. Not these not up to this point. Shut up. <laughs> No. Twenty-four. Uh, yeah. So, so there is indeed somebody in town. Uh, he's um, his name is Morlibunt, uh, and he is the owner of a shop called uh, Odd Books. I think it is. Um, he he's one of these. He's one of these retired um, retired wizards from. Absalom that kind of didn't really make it so he moved out here made his own little bookshop um, he has the odd little bit of spells here and there but yeah for the most part most people don't take him uh, that serious odd, odd stories not odd books odd stories um, and yeah so there is a there is a kind of like a bookshop um, and Considering his background, if there's anything that you might find that's a little bit of a magical book, he might well be interested. So all of those sorts of things that you've already found, mm. he may or it may be interested in that, now that you think about it, let alone anything that could be down here. Mm. It's time looking around for... A couple of books that I might be able to take. In well, here. The... Sorry, go ahead. We've got the bag of holdings worth that we tried to pass off on the demon. Or at least yeah. a few choice volumes from upstairs. Mm -hmm. That's true. We could share those and see if um, my friend here is interested in anything. Yeah. Um, so you're going to try and see if this. <laughs> if. if um... Angrel. Angrel will take more or less anything, any book. Um, uh, he kind of looks at the one which is um, like the, the worm that feeds or something that you think was one of the books you got. And he kind of looks at it and goes, that's not a very good book. Um, there was something about uh, uh, somebody around here that was trying to turn themselves into a wormy type creature and this might be one of his books so um yeah um you might want to be careful with that do you remember anything more about that i don't i'm afraid uh that is definitely before my time but mostly when the ghost queen showed up we kind of got a few mentions that there might be something going on we i don't really know much else the ghost queen ordered us to go upstairs and clear the space so we did well they did anyway and and then and, and... you know how long ago that was oh he's, the ghost queen's fairly recent to be fair That's, that's, that's why that's why Grogust is was guy in charge because he kind of went and followed the ghost queen and yeah that's how that one happened so um yeah i i guess i could kind of say when whenever the ghost queen morlocks went upstairs that was kind of roughly when it happened was the ghost queen from far below here I, I don't know if I'm honest. I didn't really see them myself. I just know that Grogus kind of got in charge because of her. 
I'm going to pocket the book and read it later. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see where this goes. Hmm. You mind if we uh, check out this tunnel, folks? Oh. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Go, go and green. Oh. I did go green briefly there. I'm not going to stop it this time. I've come back. <laughs> it's not easy being green. <laughs> uh, so you step into this um, chamber, uh, this this tunnel. Uh, it forks east and west. Um, and from behind you, Angrel goes, If you go to the one, uh, let me think, it is your right hand, but you're looking at it. Uh, and then he points down to the west that way if you go that way that's where you go back to the, to the that's where you go to the big town place with the people um uh, if you go the other way uh, and he kind of then finally points east um dash your way to the weird pool thank you we will thank you probably more. be back Moz is going to be very. Is, is going to be looking out for traps and similar. Actually, changing from scout from scout to to searching just to make sure this channel isn't rigged. So, this yeah, as is... soon as Invar is out of sight of um, a new friend, I'm going to cast message to Moz of C. You don't always have to choose violence. If he had any intent beyond that room. Balance would have been my next option. Oh dear. Doesn't change what I said. <laughs> uh, you check down this tunnel. It is a naturally carved tunnel. This is this is just a natural way. It probably used to have water running through it at some point. Um, and you do not see any traps. This looks potentially like it was... Maybe even a, a secret route into this level when it existed. You know, this this might have been the way that potentially secret uh, guests were snuck in without anybody noticing. But the tunnel is untouched, no traps. And as you head, if you decide to, further and further down that way, you come out um, a little ways later. Um... Uh, into uh, a series of chambers um, which over time will actually come up underneath one of the buildings in Atari and you enter into like the basement of a <laughs> one of the townhouses um, Moz will follow it as far as it goes uh, the reason being that he has an intent at some point in time to come back from the other end and basically make a barricade set with a letterbox or a book box. Yeah. Place. I mean what you what you ultimately discern is um and it's a it's one of those this is in another adventure um situations. Uh it actually uh and for those that are interested in this, uh it comes this comes out into the passageway uh which is used for the Menace Under Atari starter box set. So the assumption in this is that other heroes have already cleared this route for you so other heroes have emptied this area you appear in a area with like uh, a dead dragon on the floor and a few other bits and pieces that the other adventurers have dealt with a few days ago mm -hmm. and we're muscling in on our territory yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're the only heroes of this town heroes <laughs> uh, nappy <laughs> pie thieves. Okay. One person's pie thief is another person's pie liberator. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Neither of which is as hero. <laughs> liberator is the same thing. Hero to the starving folk. Exactly, and I was yeah. starving. <laughs> there we are. There we go. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. we'll, 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 we'll wander back. Yeah. <laughs> we go the other way then. Yeah. So, go to the talking pond. 
Yeah, because I had thought, you know, it might be linked into, uh, you know, the Osprey Club and that that group of smugglers. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. They they paddled all the way out here in a boat because they didn't know about the secret door in the cell. Yeah. Yeah. Talk Ooh, to we could pond, tell them about it. Different voices. We could not. <laughs> There's more the the multiple voices all yeah, talking maybe. to each other. That and. It might get me some free pies if I tell the Ospreys. So I'm very interested with all this running around that you're all doing. Are you are you all spreading out this much, or is this just your, your absent absent-minded player? Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit worried about yeah. things so far back. Um, <laughs> Moz is loosely in the middle of the mob. You know, if, if they're strung out twenty meters or forty meters or, or otherwise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am still apparently that all banged up back in the bus. Work. Dear, dear, dear. So there's a bit of stealthing going on, is there? There's a bit of stealthing. Right. Stealth. Back to scouting now. Back okay. to stealth. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, do a little bit of rolling for those people that are doing various different things. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so Nephi ends up at the front by the looks of things. No. <laughs> 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 Fine. Oh, you never let me have any fun. God, mom. No, I'm not having this argument. I'm stealthing. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're just giving me the look. <laughs> Do you kind of tries to have this like, argument. <laughs> Bethy tries to have this argument. Turns out it's with the rocky outcliff. Outcropping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the 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 nice and simple terms you can move forward a little bit more by the way um you all are I'm able to move so moz running further back not going further forwards <laughs> I was trying to make the oh, token that'll 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 do I, i'm happy with a little bit of overlap uh although i will ask you to just very, you you can't move a lot, but you can move a little bit more than you are, so that you spread out properly. Let's say it that way. So let's let's get you sorted, and then we'll and then we'll stop. Fine, Finally, big enough and ugly enough to make his own stupid choices. <laughs> the dripping, sloshing sound of water fills this large ch uh, cavern chamber. The air is cold and damp, and to the east sits a sizable pond, a lazy rivulet of overflow trickles to the north down a sloping tunnel while a five, five foot diameter wide opening gapes in the ceiling above the center of the pool the pool appears to be shallow um it, it's probably only i mean shallow so shallow about five foot deep um i would classify that as kind of you know shallows in some regard because you can stand up and you can walk still just about um the ceiling is around about 15 foot above and the, the uh, that hole seems to go up quite a long way um from from where you are as you step into this chamber a cacophony of voices start overlaying and overlapping one another um twisting and kind of turning and making you feel exceedingly uncomfortable it's at that moment that phelan from where he is stood notices something start to climb out of the water it is a large fleshy mound with multiple mouths and eyes all over its body just this constant ch 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 <laughs> chatter coming from this creature as it starts to move up towards you. And as it does, your mind starts to be filled with constant talking and sound. And you all start to slowly but surely slip. And that's where we'll end it just there and we'll have a look at this wonderful creature this wonderful old creature from way back in your 
and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.